Hello everyone, Erez Avramov here, founder of Life Rebuilder Academy, and I want to congratulate you for making it to video number two. I hope you enjoyed video number one, where I shared the Life Rebuilder journey. I put it in a visual form because I find it very helpful to understand how each step of the journey looks like, what are the elements, what are we going through, and what to expect uh, as the next level. And this has helped me, this is how I distilled this information and the lessons that I've learned. And you'll find me using a lot of visual aids. This is something that does help me, does resonate with me. I hope it will resonate with you as well. You will see I, I, lose, I use presentations and uh, different graphic elements to kind of make this whole understanding of the process easier and, and just uh, clearer. So in this video, I would like to begin and share with you the Life Rebuilder Roadmap. Now, <clears throat> the Life Rebuilder Roadmap is something that I have put together after a decade of rebuilding my life, as I mentioned in the previous video, of uh, several devastating events. And what I found was that those elements are almost a must steps of the way that we have to go through. And none of them is less important than the other or more important than the other. But I want to share with you this. You know, when we begin, we begin at what I indicate here as point A, rock bottom. A devastating event has happened. Life is out of control, right? I mean, this is something that uh, I coined as blast radius event. It's just an explosion. Everything shattered. We don't know what to do. We are confused. We are fearful. We're in pain. And I totally understand where you're at uh, if you're in this particular stage. But what I want to share with you here is a process that will allow you to go through this journey with more awareness, with more clarity. It will allow you to know that there is a way out. It will allow you to know that the power to heal, the power to recover is already in you. You know, my job as a, an, instructor, an instructor and a guide here on your journey is really not to tell you what to do. My job here is to shine the light on you and show you that that power is already within you. Now, you may be confused. You may be in a dark place. So the ability to see the bigger picture is difficult. And this is where we learn from people that have experience. We learn from mentors. We learn from other teachers and gurus. And whatever our path is to gain that knowledge, all that these people do, including myself, is shine a light through the darkness because you are in a dark place. And when we are in a dark place, we have a tendency not to be able to have a wider view of life possibilities and what can come next. So with this video training, I will share with you the roadmap. Now, I am very excited to share it because this is something I found throughout my process. You know, when, when I went through my recovery and healing and, and rebuilding of my life, I used to go through scattered kind of sections of, of the Life Rebuilder roadmap. And eventually they all kind of work together and fit it together. And maybe you're in the same position. Maybe you've already uh, kind of made some leeway uh, along the way and you found things that worked for you and some elements are missing. So I hope this will bring it home and we'll put it all together for you. So I would like to begin today with the first step of the Life Rebuilder Roadmap. Now, as you can see on this particular uh, representation, there are three main phases for the Life Rebuilder Roadmap. The first one is basically surviving. This goes back to the first video, and if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you go and watch it because this will provide you the overview of the journey, and now this is the deep dive into the details, so they all connect to one another. Now, the surviving stage, which is the bottom of the pyramid, is where you will go through these three major stages that will really allow you to build a base to move to the next phase. The next phase is managing. 
In a managing phase is where, as I described before, is where you start to acquire knowledge, you expand your toolbox, you experiment with different things, you find what it is that works for you particularly, and then there's a process I will take you through how to build a routine around it, how to implement it in our lives, because the most difficult thing, and I know this from personal experience, and I know that you know this as well, introducing new habits, or changing old habits is a very difficult thing to do. You know, at the end of the day, we are all humans. Change is something we struggle with. And when a devastating event happens, change happened. And now we have to deal with it. So a lot of old patterns, a lot of old beliefs will come up to the surface and try and stop you. And this is where I hope that the process that I share with you today, the deep dive training and the examples will really help you and show you that it's all about gaining more perspective about where you are right now, what is coming ahead, because I will tell you almost for certain there are steps on the journey that they all show up in specific timing and when you know them and you expect them to show up, you get ready for them so they don't surprise you, they don't take you off track. And this is really my job as uh, an instructor here and somebody who has been on this journey for many, many years and have been blessed to study with great mentors and great teachers and was able to take a lot of information, personalize it and make it work for me. And now I'm going to take this whole journey and this whole process and show you how you can do this for yourself. Because as I said, you have the power to do it already within you. So when we start here, we start from the first step on the roadmap. And this is you have to choose. Now, I can't stress enough how important this stage is. This is where it will determine whether you will heal, whether you will change your life, whether you will reach the top of the pyramid and you'll be able to implement everything that you will learn through this process. Choice is the number one ability that we have as people. And when a devastating event happens, you have two choices, only two choices. You are, you can do only one thing. You can either choose to see this from a victim perspective. And please do not get this wrong. I do not undermine or diminish any of your pain and the struggle and the hardship that you're going through right now. But if your tendency is to go to that place of, oh my God, how did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Why do I deserve this? And then maybe you go outside of yourself and you blame a certain situation. He did this to me. She did this to me. It's their responsibility. I couldn't help it. It just happened. Listen, I was hit by a fully loaded semi-truck and I didn't do anything wrong driving. I wasn't texting, I wasn't drunk, I wasn't uh, not sober, nothing. I hit a patch of black ice, it was a snowstorm. My car went out of control, I tried to correct, I couldn't, I hit the concrete median, the car spun into this uncontrollable uh, spin instead of going to the side way, and sometimes this is where you end up after uh, you hit black ice and you spin and nothing really serious happens. For me, my vehicle went back, hit the concrete median, flipped over its roof, and I was upside down sliding in the opposite lane straight into a semi-truck. So if I would ask why this has happened or have I created this because I did a mistake, this would have taken me in a completely different route than to understand that this has happened. Now you have to deal with it. It's not about who's to blame. It's not about are you at fault or shame yourself or be hard on yourself. You have went through something very, very difficult. You are in it right now. So when I say the first step is when you have to choose and you have to make a decision. It's a conscious decision. And I know how difficult it is because these patterns, these habits, these frame of mind that we're in 
Some of them are not our fault. We grew up in a certain environment. We grew up in a certain society. We grew up in a certain family. We grew up in a certain culture that all those external um, influences have created a certain mindset and a certain perspective. Now, they all come to play when we are tested. And when we are in this blast radius point, this is where the big test begins. And this is so difficult to understand. This decision that you will make, it is your choice. Now, I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to tell you what to choose. The only thing I can share with you that you need to move into a pathfinder mindset. You have to choose this. This is a journey. Now, for some of you, this is difficult to hear, but this is an incredible journey. There are so many gifts that are about to be revealed and given to you that this is my hair stand on end when I, when I say this because I've went through so much in my life and I could have chosen to be in the victim position many, many times and I chose not to. And by not choosing that, and by choosing to become a pathfinder, by choosing to become curious, by choosing to become someone who can tell themselves, I can handle this, there is something more in it, and I can find out what it is. This is your journey. This was given to you for a reason. You know, my personal belief is that these devastating events are given only to people who can handle that. So if you are on the other end and you are on the receiving end of a devastating event, you have been chosen for whatever reason. I'm not here to judge what it is, but you have been chosen because you are able to deal with it. So your choice, that particular decision you will make first time will dictate how well you will heal and how you will progress on this journey. And I have to tell you this. I've been in this I've been on this journey for a decade now and I've seen this a thousand times and I've interviewed people and I've studied with people and many, many people have approached me and I have seen the difference between choosing the right mindset and the right approach and how detrimental it is to your healing and the next steps on the journey. So my recommendation, if you were to take my guidance and experience would be to be aware of where you are right now with this particular devastating event that just happened to you. Are you diving deep into the victimhood position where you blame others? Maybe you even blame yourself. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't really matter. You just need to be aware that that process has taken root and you are drawn into this rabbit hole, which is horrible. I've been there myself. There is not a real clear way out of it. Uh, this is where we can decide to, you know, abuse ourselves and we start to consume uh, drugs or alcohol or any other type of destructive behavior in order to get us away from the pain and the suffering. And what this does, the only thing it does, it numbs us out. And trust me, I understand this. And I've been there when I was heavily medicated on morphines and, and you know, medications that just completely take you out of your mind. You cannot even function. You cannot even think. And sometimes in the initial healing stages, just dealing with pain, we have to just concentrate on that particular stage. But if you find yourself all of a sudden that that, you know, dark path has begun and you are on that particular route to basically crash, right? Be that if you choose to use alcohol, drugs, um, other substance abuse, this will basically drive you to the wall. So my recommendation and really my encouragement to you in this particular stage, be aware, notice where you are. The Pathfinder way, 
the curiosity, the ability to say, okay, this has happened. We cannot take it back, right? We cannot change time, not yet at least. So it has happened. We have to stand up for it. We have to show up for it. We now have to do some serious work. This is an, Im an amazing journey, right? This is something that will teach you lessons that sometimes, for most of us, we cannot learn them any other way. And unfortunately, pain and suffering usually are those catalysts. Now, I share with you throughout these videos some of my personal beliefs, and they are my beliefs. They sh they're not yours, they're not someone else's, they are mine based on my experience, so you don't have to accept them, but I want to share them with you because they have helped me figure out things and understand things in the grander way of how the universe operates and our place in it. Not to say that I figured it all out, trust me, because I haven't, but I figured quite a bit that allows me to approach situations, it allows me to deal with things that life presents to me in a much clearer and holistic and wholesome way. So, you know, when we hit rock bottom, when something so difficult has happened and it is filled with pain, it is filled with suffering, I believe that these are our greatest teachers in our lives. And the reason I say this is because, you know, as humans, we have a tendency, we, we want to avoid pain, right? We want to gravitate towards pleasure. We want to have, we want to be happy. We want to be joyful. We want to be fulfilled. Those are human traits and aspirations we all share. But those are kind of nice to have, you know, those are the dreams, oh, maybe I can do this, or I'll try this, or I'll eat this, or I'll drink that, it will make me feel happy, and those are temporary. When a blast radius event happens, everything shatters, and now you are faced with that situation. It's not up to you anymore if you want to do it or not, it's there, it happened, right? So you're in a position now to see that those teachers, Pain and suffering are not there against you. It's not comfortable. It's dark. It's terrible at times. But there is something there that will push you. You will have to stand up for what has happened and progress forward. So first step of the Life Rebuilder journey is you have to choose. Your choice will determine how successful you will reach the top of the pyramid, how you will reach pure greatness that I know is within you. And this is where you're headed. I will just help you discover it. I will help you bring it up to the surface. This is my job. But your job is to make the right choices for yourself and follow a path that I will show you how to make and create for yourself something that work for yourself. Because as I said before, not everything that I will share or everything that you read and listen to is right for you. There are certain things that you will discover how to fine tune them because they will resonate with your body type. They will resonate with your um, uh, culture history. They will resonate with where you are in the world. They will resonate with who you are.